I'm going to talk about customizing themes in Sublime, specifically the way that the code syntax is highlighted. Now, I haven't seen that many people doing it, but it's really, really valuable. It gives complete control over the way your code looks, and now this helps um, when you're skimming code and you want to like pick up the valuable bits of information and not worry about syntax and extra bump. Now, most people tend to use something like Soda, which is really good, but maybe just use it as a base and then you want to start tweaking it to get exactly the way you like. Now, as an example, I created Ghetto Coffee Script. Oops. Now, yeah, I know the name's not the best. I probably should have called it like Weak Coffee Script or something, but anyway. Now, the idea behind it is just to hide all the syntax that you don't really need to know to make it more like coffee script. Now like function, var, curly brackets, semicolon, all that's hidden and just makes it a lot cleaner to read and you can really focus in on what's important. Um, now I know some people might be thinking well what about you know indentation and syntax mistyping function if you can't really see it properly but should be linting and running your tests so that should be picked up and I'd probably only recommend actually using this for reading but hopefully you can see some value in this and you're going to want to customize, start customizing your own. So the first thing you need to know is these files are TM themes. Um, this is a standard that can be used in any editor so if you move on you can keep your syntaxes so that's really nice. Um, Sublime will load these by default if you put them in any of the subfolders so you don't need to worry about where you copy them just know that they'll be picked up and the way you do that is in the uh, preferences under color scheme so I'm going to try idle I think that looks really cool so let's try and customize that now that slows us what we can do is edit the tm file so all of them by default for the standard ones are in packages, color scheme default, and we're using idle. So, as you can see, that's it loaded. Now, before I forget, what you want to install is Scope Hunter. I've already installed it. So, Scope always, sorry. Um, and the other one is color picker. Yep. So I'll show you them in two seconds. Now, the way Scope Hunter works is it displays the. I'll change the. There we go. So the way Scope Hunter works is it displays the type object. Um, at the very bottom of the screen. Now, there we go. So, the function name is entity dot name dot function dot js. So, if we go in and edit our idle theme, we can search for entity dot name dot function. Ah, oh, there we go. That was easy. So, here is the foreground string. Now, if we change this, and we can use that handy color picker. Let's make it. Let's make it bright yellow. That'll be good. Right. So if we save that, and yeah, we can see that now it's bright yellow and impossible to read. But hopefully you get the idea. Um. And then yeah, if, so if we want to change the um, parameters, they are. which isn't there. I believe that this one will probably highlight. However, let's say we wanted to add it, then all we need to do is copy a dictionary element and then update the string. Now for consistency, you probably should update the key string up here, but this is just an example. Variable parameter. 
And again, we can use color picker. And uh, let's make it oh, bright pink. Yep, that'll go really well together. There we go. Uh, yep, so the other thing to be aware of is you can actually change these dictionary um, files for when these get matched and actually you can create your own with regular expressions to hide it to you know match any syntax so that's something to be aware of if you can't get quite what you want um, but in here in the options you can specify foreground background you can italicize and you can also underline um, so yeah hopefully we'll get you started and slightly tweaking your UI cheers